دیر از نو ادر وے ہر کو جا بینی جہان رنگ و بو ہاں کہ از خاکش بروئے دارزو یا زے نور مصطفیٰ اورا بہاست یا ہنوز اندر تلاش مصطفیٰ دیر از نو ادر وے دین ٹو ایکسپٹ دا اسٹاچر آف پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and this message to the western people where the inner core is totally quran in the middle ages when the dark ages were gone what happens after that these western people when they learned all the things from the universities of spain the muslims they implemented so all the inner core of everything was quranic we forgot to preach that wherever you find the good things about sobriety morality brotherhood piety empathy sympathy all are the fruits of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam western people either they are following it willingly or unwillingly everything goes to him who prophet muhammad peace be upon him who started the police system umar ibn al khattab radhiyallahu anhu napoleon bonaparte said If this world produces two Umar, one in the east and the west, there will be peace and serenity in the entire world. This is what Napoleon Bonaparte said. Read Mahatma Gandhi, what he said about Jesus of Nazareth and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Read the people, read their histories, biographies, what these people wrote and how they were inspired. They were not like today's people who are enslaved of information. They were knowledgeable people. They know what to do. They were pervasive. They know how to talk, how to utter, how to proselytize, not just talking in an apologetic way. They were not like that, those people. Thomas Carlyle, what did he say? Many big scholars of the past, philosophers, thinkers, non-Muslims I'm talking about, what tribute they gave to Prophet ﷺ. Michael H. Hart, what he said about Prophet ﷺ. George Bernard Shaw, any religion in 1850s in Royal Albert Hall, any religion which has a tendency to conquer the world, he said in England, nay Europe within 100 years will be Islam, but we let it down. We made Islam a spent force. This is our problem. Why we have made Islam a spent force? This is our problem. This is our weakness. Why? What happened to us? Why we have lost this assertiveness? We should be assertive enough to do our job, to do things. We should be ready enough. We have all postponing of things. We have weaknesses. We should figure out all the angles. We have haq, we have the guidance. This guidance was given to Jews at the time of Moses that they were the torch bearer to the rest of the world. But they got enough of it that Allah already got rid of them. Now they have lost the role. They have lost the job. The job of what? Beacon. They were supposed to be the beacons to the world. But they made their religion a racial religion. This is not our case. We have the haq. It is our sole duty to proselytize, to convey. Prophet says that deliver the message on my behalf. This was the message given in the last pilgrimage, his sermon, the last sermon he's telling before departing this world. He's saying that deliver the message from my behalf or on my behalf to the people who are not here. And this message is kept going on till now. So whatever we hear, it is our sole duty to present that, to, to deliver this message. We cannot just keep working. Allah says in the Quran, if you are just like that, just selfish, talking about selfless, you're just, you know, living for your own self. Allah says in the Quran, He said that don't be like the cattle who just give milk, deliver babies, you know, procreate and then sleep. Allah give them example, similitude, be like the lines of God. Farrat min qaswara ka'anhum humurun mustanfira. Farrat min qaswara, as a line is coming to you and these kuffars are running away as fleeing like a wild, wild donkeys. 
as fleeing away from a lion. This is Surah Al-Mudathir, 